Hello, hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ting. Today we are camping at a spot. I don't even know what to call this spot. It's a huge green space. Free camping is allowed. It's not crown land, but I think it's like public city land or it's a giant park. There's a huge power plant close by. There's also a marina right next door. I also saw um, like a yacht on the canal. Oh yes, we're by the canal. I think there's also an airport close by because I can hear lots of planes. And apparently we can see like really big ships here. So I'm kind of excited to, do, to see that. There's lots of RVs that are here. Lots of locals are here. They're fishing. This was kind of a last minute decision to come here. I just need to like get out of the city and just be outside. So I kind of found this place and it was close by enough that I could just come and if it wasn't good enough for Whiskey and I then we could have just left and went home. And by good enough I just mean space for us to be and not be too close to other people and luckily she's able to roam free here which is nice also. Okay I just saw Groundhog and he's very close to us. So whiskey definitely smelled it and oof, this is not good. If whiskey sees it, she's gonna freak out. It's so close to us, maybe like 12 feet, I don't know. Maybe 24 feet, I don't know. I don't know how to calculate distance. So, I don't know if you noticed, but we had to change spots. Luckily, there was a spot not too far away. It was about 10 minutes away. It's not like a magnificent space. It's just a rest stop by the highway. There are outhouses here, which is nice, and picnic tables. It's still by the water, but again, you could probably hear it. There's cars all the time, so it's a bit noisy. Like my whole goal of getting out here and camping and you know truck camping or whatever I want to camp in different types of spaces and you know a rest stop is just one of them and like, I just want to get out of my comfort zone and try different things and try different experiences so yeah so this is what I'm doing so the reason why we have to move is because there was just so many groundhogs so so many groundhogs they just like all came out all of a sudden i took whiskey for a walk and they were just everywhere and she was pulling me everywhere and even when we got back to camp and i tied her up she was just you know she was ready to go you know if she can't relax and i can't relax either 
so I just decided to move. Sunset is pretty nice. Like I said, we're still by the water. It's a bit loud, but you know, I'm just out here experiencing things. So we're just gonna chill a bit until dinner time. And I put on new lights in the truck. Oh, they're just USB chargeable lights. And I just kind of Velcro them to my truck top her camper topper because <laughs> I bought it with a carpet so I just it's so convenient I've been just velcroing everything I'm excited for these lights but I don't need them right now so I'm gonna turn it off oh I can dim it Whoa. Hello, so it's dinner time. It's a little awkward, I think, filming like this, maybe? But, this is what I got. Instant hot pot. This is a self-heating hot pot, so I just have to pour water in it. I think it's pretty good for camping, like, lazy camping, you know, you just want, like, a hot meal but not necessarily like dehydrated food. the same lotus interesting lotus and bamboo and i think mushrooms maybe and then the hot pot seasoning oh boy i don't think i'm gonna put it all because i feel like it will be too spicy for me Okay, I just put... There's still a bit left. I'm not gonna put it all. That's crazy talk. Now for the heating pad. This. Okay. This is the moment of truth. Nothing is happening. Oh, it's happening. That took a while. Oh shit. I forgot to put water in the white container. Shit. <coughs> now we wait 15 minutes. Ooh, smells so good and so spicy. I wish I had a sunroof so I can look at the sky. Mm. This, this does taste like squid.
So it came with utensils. Oh wow. Pretty good quality spoon. Napkin. Toothpick. And oh my god. Pool chopsticks. Cool. Cool. Very cool. Lots of waste, but very convenient. I feel like that always goes hand in hand. I really thought when I got the mid-size cap, I would be able to sit up, but I guess I didn't do my research enough. You know? I, I mean, the platform is right above the wheel well, so there's no, I can't go lower than this. But, what can I do now? Oh, it's hard to drink water though. Alright, let's see here. That looks so good. I'm not gonna use this flimsy spoon. I had a spoon here earlier that I will use. Wow. I can't believe it's actual vegetables. Oh well. Oh, spicy. I'm so glad I didn't put the whole pack of hot sauce. Holy oh, shit. It's like peppercorn galore. I have no idea what this is. <coughs> <coughs> I like spicy food, but this is too much. Alright, my friends. This is what I did. I took out all the toppings, or all the food from the chili oil. So hopefully it won't be as spicy. Because... I was not able to continue eating. Much better. Much better. They had another flavor. Still pretty spicy. They had another flavor. It was like tomato flavored. I almost got that one. But I was like, no, I want to try the spicy one mistake regrets it's a lot of vegetables which is nice but not enough noodles this is definitely not enough for one meal for me anyway I do have other quick meals that I can make but I didn't bring enough water to make them so I'll just eat this and have a bunch of fruit it's like just peppercorn you know it's not the good kind of spicy in my opinion
too crazy for me. Who can eat this? Oh my god. I'm not having fun. I can't stop. Papa's suffering, buddy. My mouth is numb. Completely numb. I think I'm gonna call it quits. Oof, I'm still not over how spicy those noodles were. <laughs> um, I had some fruit and then I brushed my teeth. And now I'm heading to sleep. It's finally quiet down a bit the road. Luckily, as I say that, another car is just passing by. It's actually pretty noisy. I didn't think it would be so noisy, but it's pretty noisy. And I didn't bring my earplugs, so I hope I'll be able to get some sleep because I'm real tired. I'll probably just see you guys in the morning. Good night. I hope you can hear me because it's pretty windy out here um, but we came back to where we were yesterday where the where the groundhogs were I parked a bit further than where they were but we did find more holes <laughs> so um, whiskey did sniff them out a lot but they didn't come out so she didn't get to like chase them which is good so we're just having breakfast here we came back here because it's nicer here there's lots of buses coming and going where we were which was just noisy it's noisy here in terms of airplanes and wind but you know at least it's a big green space that i feel more comfortable in i hope you guys enjoyed today's video sorry it wasn't as interesting as i had hoped um but this is just part of you know, camping and experience different types of camping and exploring, I guess. Hopefully next episode I'll be more in nature and not be around so many people. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for all the love.